What's good y'all? It's your boy TJ back at it again with another video and this time we're actually going to cover YouTube playlists. How to manage it, how to add videos to your playlist, how to quickly batch edit all of your videos if you need to. And for this example, we're actually going to cover my other YouTube page, my gaming page. So for this one, there's a game I play called Marvel vs. Capcom where I have one character versus the rest of the cast and I want to group these all into one playlist. So to do so, we're actually just going to use this as an example. So the first thing you have to do, head over to your page. You're going to go over, click your profile icon and go to YouTube Studio. So once you go there on the left hand side, you're going to go to content. You're going to see I have all these videos and then I have some other ones in between, but I really want to organize my specific content. So what you do, you can go to filter and type in exactly like the series that you want. So I'm going to do Tron versus and press enter. So now that I've typed in Tron versus, it's gonna bring up all the individual videos that I want to do. So originally what you would do is you would press the little pencil and go into the video. It's actually right below the thumbnail. You can actually select the playlist you have here, but the best way to do it is through this method here. You can actually select all the videos by clicking this box and you could deselect whichever ones you don't want or select whatever ones you want on this first page. I have about 50 of these videos, so I'm gonna have to go to page two, but you it won't let you go to page two and have them all selected. So you're gonna have to go page by page, but that's okay because we're doing 30 at a time, which is worth it. So once you select them all, you're gonna see that you can go ahead and add them to a playlist. And if you click that, you can create a new playlist with this button or a new podcast, whatever is your choice. I already had all these videos under UMVC3, but I went ahead and created a new playlist called UMVC3 Tron Matchup Guide. So I'm going to select that and deselect these. And if you save it, it'll go ahead and move all of these to that new playlist. So I did that. It's just going to load up and now the playlist has been edited. So now if you go to your playlist tab, you're gonna see, oh, the Tron matchup guide. If I go to, let's click on videos, you're gonna see that all the videos are in this new playlist now. So this is just a super helpful, quick way to manage your playlist. I'm just gonna keep going here just so you guys can get the point. Now let's say if there was a video that was in here that I didn't want, which all of them there, let's go to page two here. Is this page two? Yes, it is. So I can see that there is a video I don't want. So I'm actually gonna just select all of them and it's 22 selected. I'm gonna scroll down. I don't want this video in there because it's not part of the series and I don't want this one. So I'm just gonna uncheck them. Go ahead, add to playlist, deselect UMVC3 and it should just be this one. The ultimate matchup guide. All of those are now added and that is all of my content now easily done in one playlist. If you're simply looking to add a new playlist or change the name or just even managing it, you don't even know where to go. You're not even trying to batch out it. You just want to like organize your playlist. What you do is go to your videos in your YouTube studio under content and you just select a video. It doesn't matter what video it is. We're not actually, we're not actually going to change it. But what we're going to do is it brings up these options where you can edit the title and description, and then you can also add playlists. And so when you add playlists, you can select a new playlist. That's gonna allow you to create more playlists for you. And then if you want to edit the specific name, like let's say I have Pokemon Unite, and I'm like, oh dang, I, I, I don't even want that to be the name. You just go to your playlist tab, scroll down to that playlist and click the little pencil. And from here, you can edit the title and description of your playlist. Another thing you can do with these playlists as well is like, let's say if you select them all, right? Just simply added them to the playlist, but you can also batch edit the title, description, tags, visibility, all of these options. You can do this all at once. So like, let's say, for example, if I wanted to change the title, I'm like, oh, dang, I really want an emoji at the end of these titles. I noticed like that's going to help me in my SEO or whatever. I go ahead and select whatever I want and I change the title and you can insert something at the beginning or insert it at the end or just straight up replace the text. So like, let's say if I wanted to insert it at the end and type something, I could go ahead and do that and then update videos. It'll allow you to batch edit the video in that manner as well. Something else that you can also manage here. So like, let's say if I wanted to show the, the class in order. So let's say the video I first put out, right? Out of all 50 videos, the first video, I want them to see it first if they click on the playlist. 
what I can do is go ahead and go to the playlist, click the little pencil for details, and you can click on the right here, default video order. You can set which videos they see in order. So the date published, uh, newest to oldest, or date added to YouTube, uh, newest to oldest. You can manually sort it if you wanted to, or you could do by most popular. So whatever videos people are seeing the most, this is probably the option you want to do most popular. But yeah, whichever videos people are seeing the most or most interesting, they're going to see that first and then they're going to trickle down. So in this one, I'm just going to do date added because the way I did it, I just want people to see like the first, like from alphabetical order, if that makes sense. So once your videos are already in this playlist, you can go ahead and go to your playlist tab click the little pencil and you can edit your description and your title here. You can choose to make it public, private or unlisted. I do this for, let's say I have my music, right? I don't really want people to like know what I listen to. So I just name it and I have it as private so I can personally listen to it in my offline time. But in this, I wanted to make it public. So I went and clicked the little pencil, made the visibility public and I should be good to go from there. I have my little description. And so if I go to the playlist, like the video, or maybe let's watch it on YouTube and see how it shows. Boom, I already have the videos there. And now my playlist is over here on the right hand side tab, ready to view for the public. People can go ahead and shuffle and loop the playlist if they want to watch this as like a class learning experience. So if this video helped you out, Go ahead, like and subscribe, share it with whoever needs help with this, and I'll catch you guys next time.